uh, very, very exciting. The correct answer was Anne Rice, named after her father, Howard O'Brien, and her mother's maiden name, Alan. Well, we have time for one more fastest finger question, and here it comes. Put these playwrights in order of their birth, starting with the earliest. Tennessee Williams, Sam Shepard, Eugene O'Neill, Neil Simon. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest playwright, Eugene O'Neill. And then Tennessee Williams, Neil Simon, and Sam Shepard. That's the right order. Who got it for the fastest time? And the winner is... Yeah! Yeah! Richard Rosner from Los Angeles in the hot seat right now, trying to trying to get over it. I don't know, feeling feeling all right? I'm okay. All right. Congratulations, Richard. Yes. The reason he's so excited is that uh, he was a fastest finger contestant on our very first show, and now all these months later, 123 shows later, you are here tonight on the 123rd show, and you made it in the hot seat. Congratulations. Just great. I know, and I'm very excited, and we're happy to have you here. Richard is a, uh, as I recall, a bartender. Bouncer. Bartender, bouncer, yeah. No, no, no bartender. No I bartender, bounce. no, no. You know, you're a bouncer at a bar. That's right. How'd you like to have Richard get excited and come after you? <laughs> okay, we're almost out of time, so come on, let's get as many as we can in, all right? Yep. You all set to go? I am. All right, here it comes now, Richard. For $100, you know the rules, you know about the lifelines, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and here it is, for 100 <laughs> The animated characters featured in their cookie ads are known as the Keebler what? Elves, dwarves, gnomes, geeks. Keebler guys are A, elves. Right for $100. There you go. Here it comes for $200. What do the letters VIP normally stand for? Very important person. Very interesting person. Very industrious poet. Vaguely intelligent parent. A very important person. VIP, very important person. You're right for $200. We're going for $300 right now. According to a familiar expression, all good things come in what? Sevens, threes, tens, speedos. B. Yes, final answer. Right for $300, they come in threes. Here it is now for $500. Which of the following is both the name of a popular food and a term for junk email? Twinkies, Velveeta, Spam, Fruit Loops. It's C, Spam. Yeah, you're right for $500. Okay, Richard, we're up to $1,000, and here it is. By definition, what is the term for music sung without instrumental accompaniment? Oratorio, a cappella, cantata, aria. B, a cappella. A cappella, the right answer for 1000 doing well, too. Here it is for $2,000. In 1980, the season finale of what TV show led Americans to ask, who shot JR? Falcon Crest? Dynasty? Knott's Landing? Dallas? Kristen shot JR on Dallas. Final answer. Yes, she did. We keep going here for four thousand dollars. Check it out. Which of these styles of cooking meat originated in Jamaica? Jerk, tandoori, barbecue, pashaka. A jerk. Kind of A too. Final. 
jerk. The right answer for $4,000. got a lot in here. You did well, too. That sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Richard will be back here Tuesday night. And joining him will be ten new contestants who have flown in from all over the country. And they are John Grahowski, Rosalinda Curley, John Rosenthal, Jamie Jacoby, Tom Flanders, Ruth Ann Replogel, Richard Taylor, Kathy Halter, Dean Sandifer, and Lisa LaRevere. Well, we had a big... Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Jennifer Love Hewitt is my guest. How confident are you? I would say I'm about... It's a guess. Final answer. He was right. You won thirty-two thousand dollars. It's just another flat-out guess. Just won one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. I want to say this to all my ex-philosophy professors out there. Finally, my degree is counting for some. Here it is, Rene Descartes. A. That's right for a quarter million dollars. I'm betting it's this. C. McCarty. Final answer. You're right for a half million dollars. No clue. You gotta know when to fold them. I'm rocking. Thank you. Yeah. The winner is Yeah! Yeah! Rick Lasky. Now, join us from New York for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you very much, everybody. Nice to see you. Well, good evening. It's Tuesday night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That was Joe Kelleher guessing his way to the top on Sunday night. And the only answer he knew for sure was that Rene Descartes said, I think, therefore I am. And so Joe thought, and therefore he won a half million dollars. Yeah. Now there's Rich Rosner from Los Angeles. Rich was on our very first show last August, but didn't get into the hot seat until just the other night. But he kept calling and calling and calling and finally got a second chance to come back. And when he won, as you can see, he was so pumped, so excited. I thought he was going to shake my arm off or at least throw me out of here. You know, Rich happens to be a bouncer. Nice to have you here, Rich. Yeah, nice to be here. Tell me over a course of a lifetime. You've been doing it for, what, 20 years? Yep. Since how Carter was president. Since Carter. Well, that's really going back. So uh, how many bodies have you bounced out of uh, your various... Uh... I don't do much tossing. I, I'm the one who... Uh catches the underage people when they try to sneak in and I've mm. caught about 12,000 underage no people. 12,000. Yeah. Maybe some of the same faces come back from time to time. Do you ever recognize anybody? Yeah, they do that. Yeah, sure. So has there been a good life? It's okay. Yeah. And in LA, people everybody wants to be in the movie, so there's not that much fighting. Nobody wants to mess up their uh... <laughs> their face or their nose. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Rich, you won $4,000 so far. You're eight questions away from winning the $1 million. I want to say hello to your wife and your mom sitting right over there. How you doing, everybody? That's uh, Carol Rosner and mom ret uh, retired. Ruth, nice to see you. Thank you. Good luck to both of you. All right, Rich, here's how we play. The more uh, questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. You have all of your lifelines left to help you out. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. Now, to play along with Rich, log on to ABC.com, click on the Enhanced TV logo, and play against everybody at home using ABC's Enhanced TV. Okay, Rich, second try here. Ready to go? Yep. Audience, are you ready? Sure, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. Okay, for $8,000, Rich, which war is depicted in the book The Red Badge of Courage? The American Revolution, French and Indian War, U.S. Civil War, World War One. C. The U.S. Civil War. Final answer. Final answer. Red badge of courage. Civil War is the right answer. There you go. He's going for $16,000 right now. 
What capital city is located at the highest altitude above sea level? Mexico City, Quito, Bogota, Kathmandu. I know Mexico City is at about 7,300 feet. Do is Nepal, I think. My guess is if I go fifty fifty, it will leave me with Mexico City and Kathmandu. $16,000 question is always kind of tricky. You think? Yeah. Will you see the $32,000 one? do? He's a writer. Writer, all right, fine. AT&T, we need uh, Michael here. Let's see if you he can help us out. Hello? Hello, Michael. Hi, Regis. Regis Philbin here, yeah, from ABC who wants to be a millionaire. How you doing? Very well, sir. You were waiting for my call, huh? I've been anxiously waiting. Well, good. I've got Rich here. We need a little help. He's going for $16,000. And he's going to come on and give you the question of the four possible answers. And one of them, of course, the right answer. Okay? I'm ready. All right. He's all set. Rich, it's all yours. You've got 30 seconds starting now. What capital city is located at the highest altitude above sea level? Mexico City, Quito, Bogota, Kathmandu. You might tell him that's Bogota. Bogota. Rich, I would, if it were my money, I'd be saying Kathmandu, which is at the foothills of the Himalayas. Confidence level, percentage. 90%. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Do well. 90%. You know, you, you mentioned about narrowing it down. Yeah. You said Mexico City and Kathmandu, right? That's what it's going to leave me, is my guess. It's really something, isn't it? If you waited a year to get back here. Yeah. And now you're here, and now we're waiting a year for your answer. <laughs> Yeah. You take as long as you want, and I sincerely mean it. You take as long as you want. Those are the rules. D. Kathmandu. I gotta ask you. I almost hate to ask you. I'm not gonna say that yet. I'm gonna. You just want to say. Try it on. Okay. Let me know how it feels. Rich, rich, rich. I'm sorry, old man. I'm sorry, buddy. Really sorry. Oh, I'm just stunned. Oh, what a shame. Well, 
if he'd only used that 50-50, he would have realized that it was between Quito and Bogota, with Quito winning out at 9,222 feet. Weight of the year. Uh, it's heartbreaking. But right now, we've got 10 new contestants.